Chicago is still buzzing tonight over Loyola's Final Four run. The Ramblers are coming home to a cheering crowd on the Rogers Park campus. The team hoping that they have a couple more wins left in their magical run. Marci and Greco is joining us now with more on this happy homecoming. Well, Karen, I'll tell you, the general consensus tonight is they've got at least one more magical mm -hmm. win in them, that's for sure. You know, they won the first three games of the dance for themselves when they still had plenty of doubters. Now these amazing Ramblers are indeed two games away from winning it all for all the nation to see. Another triumphant return to campus, bus pulling up to Genteel Arena this afternoon. Porter Mosier leading the cheer, so pumped for more. And the players showing off their regional trophy, still looking for the ultimate piece of hardware. This group on stage is what's right about college basketball. They're high character, they're unselfish, and I tell you what, this could be an unbelievable ride and journey for our university. But now, it's an unbelievable ride for our country. I, I just want everyone to look around and soak this in. You know, this is this is what this is what we've been dreaming of. You know, creating this kind of environment and, and having this kind of support and, and unity in the university and behind this program and, and to, to get to this point, we're just we're so proud of it. We're so happy. And it just means the world to all of us. Yeah. It means the world to us, too. So uh, Michigan, Villanova, Kansas, fear the Ramblers. We'll oh. have more coming up later in sports. Okay, thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. And the entire city is giving Loyola love. The skyline lit up in the school's traditional maroon and gold colors. And from the great play on the court to an inspirational nun, this entire city hopes Loyola can keep this going. It's a sight few expected to see inside Clark Street Sports on Lawrence. A t-shirt rack celebrating Loyola's trip to the Final Four. For Ramblers fans, it's gear they just gotta have. Oh my gosh, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions. It's a chance of a lifetime. I called it. You can ask any of my friends. I predicted this. At the beginning of the season, fans couldn't imagine taking the trip to San Antonio. But they're scrambling to find tickets now. I'm going to San Antonio. My dad bought, my dad sent me a screenshot of my plane ticket five minutes before the game was over last night. And uh, me, him, and my sister are going. This team has drawn a national following, especially with the help of Sister Jean. The 98-year-old team chaplain has earned a legion of fans with her sharp wit. The Atlanta Falcons were even looking for her divine intervention, inviting her to stick around for next football season. Yesterday, she said, what did you give up for line? And she said, losing. Wasn't that so cute? And so we're totally with her. We're happy that she's in our corner. And this year's team is inspiring a new generation of Ramblers fans. Holly Goodman, who's only seven, is one of the few who predicted Loyola's incredible run. We filled out brackets as a family, and so I filled hers out. She told me what schools to pick, but she was Loyola all the way. And former President Obama is also supporting the Ramblers. He tweeted today, incredible to have a Chicago team in the final four. It'll, I'll take that over an intact bracket any day. Congratulations to everybody at Loyola Chicago. Let's keep it going. And this one shouldn't be a surprise. A bobblehead of Sister Jean has become the best-selling bobblehead of all time. And they haven't even been made yet. The National Bobblehead Hall of Fame says the likeness of the 98-year-old nun costs $25 each, and it's expected to be sent out in June. So the matchup is set. Loyola will take on Michigan in game one of the final four in San Antonio. Game time is set for just after 5 o'clock Saturday night. Mark will have more coming up in sports.